Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Courtney Ryan, and today it is time for my annual Spring Essentials video. It has been far too long since I've done a fashion video. If you guys like these videos and wanna see more from me, make sure that you like this video and let me know down in the comments so that I can keep making the videos you wanna see. So you guys know if you've been around for a while that I am a fan of the classic timeless pieces that will look good for years to come, and this list definitely reflects that. You might notice my lists don't really change in a drastic way from year to year because again, I really try to focus on timeless classic pieces that are going to last you for years to come. But I do my best to highlight current styles that are on the market right now that you guys can buy that might be a little more unique than the last season as things change. The good news for you is all of these items can be worn interchangeably and can create a ton of different awesome outfit combinations and that is the power of a capsule wardrobe. So, no more to say, let's get into it. Number one is a button-through polo or an open collar shirt. And I put these in the same category because although they are different, they give me a similar feel. These had quite the resurgence last season and maybe even the season before, but they're still around this year for good reason. I love the vintage and classic feel of these and there are so many great ways to make this work for your personal style by utilizing different fabrics, textures, colors, and patterns. Whether you want a budget-friendly option or have a little bit more money to spend, you're bound to find something that works and that rings true for every single thing on this list today. These would look really great paired with a denim or simple chino and then topped off with a sneaker or a loafer. Throw on a pair of sunnies and you're good to go. So again, there are a million different options here depending on what your personal style is. I don't want you all to look like little cookie cutter versions of each other so you can easily find something that works for you and add your own little flair to it. If you're a guy who likes solid colors, you're not really into patterns, hello, that's also me. Uh, you can really play around with the texture a little bit. I've seen some pretty neat shirts in this style that really utilize texture or fabric instead of necessarily going for a print like a stripe or some other type of pattern. So again, the options here are endless. I will put up a few that I really like. Um, if you guys have any questions, of course, you can let me know down in the comments and I will be happy to help. I know sometimes when you think of a traditional polo, you think of a golf outing or growing up in a school where you had to wear a uniform. So that's why I kind of like these more unique uh, ways of doing the polo. I think the open collar or the button through type of polo tend to look a little bit more modern in a way, more with the times and not like you are going to your first day of kindergarten in your little school uniform. So I think these two styles that I've highlighted look a lot more current. Um, if you're sick of that traditional polo, I would give these a shot. My next piece is a tried and true, a classic, Every single man needs to have one of these and that is an Oxford button down. You can wear these with absolutely anything. You could wear it on its own with a pair of trousers or chinos and a pair of loafers or you could wear it under a light suede jacket paired with denim and a pair of leather trainers. I could go on and on here. The alpha combinations are endless. And you all know my favorite recommendation for an Oxford and that is to roll up those sleeves. We love to see your forearms. It's a thing women like. We like the vascularity that's in your forearms. Show a little skin, I promise you, the women love this one. Every single time I get on my Instagram story and ask the women who follow me, what are your favorite things that men wear? So many women say an Oxford button down with emphasis on the sleeves rolled up. Trust me, thank me later. If you don't know where to start color-wise, I would start with a light blue and a white. After that, the choice is yours. Again, this should reflect your personal style and what you're into. Black can look really nice, navy. A thin blue and white stripe can look really great, especially in the spring and the summertime. I mean, again, the list goes on. My next essential is a cotton crew neck t-shirt. You just cannot go wrong with a simple cotton t-shirt. Every guy needs one, just like the Oxford, no matter who you are, no matter what your style is, you can make a cotton crew neck t-shirt work for you. You can utilize these for layering purposes or simply rock them on their own. I would say white and black are the basics that you wanna start with, but after that, the choice is really yours. Find colors that complement your skin tone or that look good paired with other items in your closet. In the spring specifically, one of the best pieces of advice I could give you or rules to follow is to really think about your outfits in terms of layering. Buy pieces that can be combined together and layered to make you know the weather work in your favor. Sometimes in the spring, in the morning, it's a little bit chilly and then by 2 p.m. you are sweating. So it's nice to have like a little light jacket to take off and still be rocking a really great cotton crew neck t-shirt below. So again, that's kind of what I like to focus on when I put together lists like this of you know the kind of rules to to follow during this time of year, things that are going to make you feel comfortable, but also make sure that you're staying stylish as well. 
And that leads me into my next one here, which is a lightweight jacket, an absolute must if you're thinking in terms of layering. I wanted to keep the options a little bit open here because the truth is that there are so many light jackets you could go for depending on what your style is, what you typically gravitate towards, where you live in the world also plays a huge role. So with that being said, one of my favorite lightweight jackets of all time is a suede jacket. I think this is often a less harsh looking version of a leather jacket. A leather jacket could be really great too if you're a guy who likes that, you find your style being a little bit more edgy or a little bit more rugged. I tend to gravitate towards the suede jacket just because I think it can be dressed up or down a little bit better. The suede jacket comes in so many different color variations and styles in terms of you know zippers and buttons and snaps and things like that. So find something that works for you. My next favorite is an overshirt, and these are amazing for layering because they can be worn completely on their own. You could wear it open with a t-shirt underneath. These are just really great. I also recommend these in the fall as well. So this is something that you could also take with you to different seasons of the year if you live somewhere with seasons like I do in Cleveland. I'm a person who really likes to keep versatility in mind when I'm building a wardrobe or giving advice to you guys. Um, so if I can wear something in the spring and the fall, that's a win-win. And going off of that point, another one of my favorites is a denim jacket for the same reason. Great for layering and an awesome addition to have in your closet. The only thing I will say about a denim jacket is they often tend to look a little bit youthful um, depending on the style and the color you get, probably where you get it as well. Um, I often think the lighter the wash of the denim is, the more juvenile or young that it looks. So just something to keep in mind. The next one is a pair of denim. You guys know I adore Selvage dark wash denim and they are my favorite by far. But I will say they aren't necessarily the most practical as the weather starts to heat up. If you've ever been outside in 75, 80 degree weather in a pair of dark wash selvage denim, it's toasty in there. So if you already have a pair that you've broken in, you should be okay. But in terms of looking for a new pair, maybe you are on the hunt for something new, I'm not typically the biggest fan of lighter wash denim just to be transparent, but I do think in the spring and the summer, it gets a pass. Stonewashed denim specifically can look great paired with the right things um, and also just be a little bit more comfortable and lightweight in the summertime. And if you're curious, the term stonewash refers to the old school method of washing jeans with stones, which helped give the denim a rough texture and evenly distributed patina that would look as though it was achieved through decades of wear. Also makes the jeans a little bit uh, more comfortable, a little bit more broken in, um, which is why a lot of stores now sell them this way to start. So I've given you a little pass on the lighter or medium wash. They're not my favorite, but I give you a pass. No rips though. No rips, I stand by that. Denim is really just the workhorse of your wardrobe and I would highly recommend getting pairs that you feel comfortable and confident in. It can be tough to find a pair of denim that you really like. So if you find a pair, I think it is worth splurging a little bit more on because they're supposed to last you a long time. And also it can be tough to find a pair that you like. So if you find a pair that you like, go for it. And they are so versatile that if you buy the right pair, you're going to get your money's worth. You're going to be able to wear them a lot. You're probably gonna be able to wear them in every single season of the year. I will say there are better things that I would recommend in the summer, like linen pants or some sort of chino because they are a little bit more breathable. Um, but denim is a staple that all of you should have in your wardrobe for sure. And while we're talking about chinos, that is actually my next essential that I'm gonna talk about. Uh, pro tip here, if you're a guy who likes to look a little bit more polished, but you want the comfort and breathability of a chino, go for a pleated chino pant. I've seen these a lot more common lately um, and they look amazing, I am a huge fan. I think they just look a little bit more unique and elevated than a regular regular pair of chinos. Again, totally up to you if you are a more outdoorsy or casual guy and you like the ruggedness of a chino, maybe with some added pockets, you like a utility look, there's a chino for that. If you are a guy who likes to look a little bit more classic and timeless and polished, there's a chino for that too, and that's the pleated chino. So again, this is one of those things that there are endless options for depending on what your style is and what other things you have in your wardrobe. So make the best decision for you. But generally speaking, the reason why I like chinos is because they are versatile and also lightweight and comfortable for the warmer months of the year. They're gonna be a great alternative to the denim that I mentioned before. 
Spring is kind of hit or miss with weather depending on where you live. In Cleveland, it could be 50 degrees one day and 80 the next day, so it really is a gamble. And I've just found that if you're looking for something a little more lightweight, a little more breathable um, on that hotter day, I would go for the Chino instead of a pair of denim. Denim can just sometimes feel a little bit uncomfortable, a little bit stuffy, um, and that's not a very great way to feel. My next essential is a pair of loafers. Keep in mind, your shoes can make or break an outfit. It's true, unfortunately. But loafers are a surefire way to make your getup look fantastic. They add a level of sophistication and class to an otherwise maybe simple outfit and can really elevate an entire look. So whether you go for a suede or smooth leather is entirely up to you. I would say suede tends to look a little more casual and summery, while smooth leather can be dressed up and just tend to look a little bit more polished. A pro tip here though that I will give, if you are wearing these with chinos or denim or anything that's not like a very elevated trouser, don't wear socks, just go sockless. I know they make no-show socks now too, you can go that route too if they don't show, um, but just sprinkle a little bit of baby powder in your shoe or gold bond and you should be able to negate the smell um, and you know your foot getting all sweaty and stuff like that, but I just think they tend to look a lot better when they're worn sockless. Um, they give a very like old European classy guy type of look, which you all know that I'm a fan of. Sticking with the shoes for my next essential here is a pair of leather trainers. Once again, shoes can make or break your outfit if you are wearing a great outfit and then you have on a pair of destroyed or stained or on their last leg sneakers. Well, we might need to think about buying a new pair. You could go for the OG white sneaker here. This is probably going to be the most versatile and go with the most things in your closet. Um, but there are so many other great options as well. If a solid white sneaker is not your thing, I'll put some pictures up here of some other ones that I found that I really like. There are plenty more. I just did not have you know a million hours to scour the internet for every great trainer in the world. Um, if you have a favorite pair or something that you think is really comfortable, let me know down below in the comments. I will say, obviously I'm not a guy. I wear women's sneakers, um, but I. I have a pair of Vejas and I absolutely love them. They are so comfy. They tend to look a little more elevated than a typical sneaker I found. I think it's just the shape of them and the way they kind of fit on your foot. I've even worn them before with dark denim and a little tweed jacket and it looks super cute. So I wouldn't necessarily recommend dressing up a sneaker to the max. I think there's a better shoe choice for that. If you're wearing a suit or you're wearing something very polished and put together, I would go for the loafer instead of the sneaker. But if you're a very casual guy or or you just need something to wear with a casual outfit, a leather trainer is a really great option. Keep in mind, we don't have to have the same style either. I'm not really a big fan of Converse or the crazy sneakers that people spend thousands of dollars on, um, but maybe you're really into sneakers and you have a whole closet full of them. You're a sneaker head and you're way more advanced in the sneaker game than I am. If that sounds like you, do whatever floats your boat. Again, we don't have to have necessarily the same style. My ultimate goal with my fashion videos is to give you some ideas and inspiration that you can then kind of, you know, utilize your own style and flair into it and take it your own direction and make it your own. I don't think it's very fun or very unique when we all dress and look exactly the same. Um, I certainly don't like to dress like every other girl in the world. I don't like to wear the trendy stuff. Um, and, I, and that's kind of why I recommend going for the timeless classic pieces. Again, that might not be you and that's okay. There are so many other awesome channels on YouTube that go for the street style stuff or might give you more trendy options that I'm not providing here for you. But again, going for the timeless classic pieces is going to give you added versatility. It's going to save you money in the long run because you're going to be buying pieces that are actually quality and that you can take with you season after season, year after year, and not have to rebuy things all the time. Um, and just, you know, not walk into your closet and be like, I have all this stuff and none of it goes together and I have nothing to wear because that was definitely me at a time in my life. After college, I just kind of went crazy with buying clothes and I would buy all these random things that were trendy, that weren't really my style that I liked, but could not pair with a single other thing in my closet. And then I would walk into my closet and be like, oh, I have all these clothes and nothing to wear. It's stressful, it's the worst feeling, and it's just such a good feeling to know exactly what you have in your closet, what outfits you can make with it, and be good to go in any situation that you're in. Sorry, I just went on a little rant there, but I just wanted to emphasize, you know, kind of the point of why I do these. Every time I do a fashion video, I get comments like, it's so boring, um, there's no flair here, but the point is for you to make the flair your own. It's not your flair if I'm the one telling you what to wear, you know?
And my last essential here, you guessed it, is a spring fragrance. I think I end every single fashion video with a season appropriate fragrance because it truly is just the icing on the cake to a well-groomed, well-dressed man. I think having a season specific fragrance can really just elevate your entire presence and certainly work in your favor. And of course, a versatile year round scent would work here too. Think of something light, fresh, and clean. You don't wanna wear your heavy gourmand winter scent on a warm, beautiful spring day. It just doesn't go together. If you guys want me to do an entire spring summer fragrance video whatever you guys want to see i certainly can so to wrap this video up some general rules to follow in the springtime is that layering is your bff and consider lightweight fabrics because you know it's great if you look stylish but not if you're sweating from head to toe so keep it light keep it fresh and the good news about almost everything on this list is that it can easily transition into summer as well we love a versatile king so guys, if you like this video or found it helpful, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel to be in the loop for when I release new content. If you haven't already, be sure to follow me over on Instagram at Courtney Christine Ryan. I love connecting with all of you guys over on there as well. I thought of so many other things I wanted to add to this list, but I didn't want to make it super long. So let me know down in the comments what you would have added. I would love to know your spring essential. These are just the ones that tend to stand out to me the most. And also when I ask women, what is your favorite spring essential for men? Or what is your favorite thing that that men wear they typically say the things that are on this list um, which is why I kind of you know wrapped them all up and included them in here another thing I would mention is a pair of sunglasses um, I think that's really important to have going into the summer as well my eyes are super sensitive so I need those all year I don't know how you guys are but I definitely think a great pair of sunglasses or some sort of hat that you like could be really nice to have um, but yeah, let me know what you think down below. I would love to hear your number one spring essential that you cannot live without. Uh, no cargo pants, I hope. No cargo pants. Anyways, I'm done talking. As always, thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you all next time.